Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, my name is Anna and today we'll be talking about my June to the odd. Let's get going. So we finally have nice weather and it's finally not... Well, today is gloomy right now, but I don't think we're gonna have rain. So, I don't mind rain, I prefer rain and snow anyways, but um... Yeah, so May was a little bit off for me, um... <laughs> Just because I went on vacation for two weeks and then after that May just quickly came by and gone. Like, I don't know where May had went. So, I actually did not read any books in May other than one audiobook. So, I'm probably going to include that May book either in one of my reading vlogs in June or at the end of June for my wrap up. I don't know. But I just listened to one audiobook and that's it, so May was kind of weird for me and plus I've been really busy with my new book that's coming out soon, I'm so excited for it but yeah, so I don't know, I don't know how to feel about May so it was just, it was just here and then gone so yeah, um, but anyway, I actually don't have too much books to read um, I did a little book haul a while back so I'm kind of excited to read of the, the books that I had recently purchased, so I'm excited to read about that. Um, but yeah, so also I am also planning for my book read. I love book read this year. You guys don't know what's coming for you. You really don't, so I'm super excited. And I may or may not go and like have a little getaway for a weekend to another city. I might be going to Edmonton. Just, we you know, like a one day getaway kind of thing for the weekend, so. I'm excited, but yeah, I never, the anime team will probably happen in August, so I'm owning some uh, this year, but I'm oh, just gonna go with my books. <laughs> so, my first one is Seven Faithly Saints by M.K. Lobb. I'm actually a, a third in of my book, so obviously, I haven't read that much so far. It is interesting. I feel like this will be a lot of religion based. Just by, just by how it's written and there's like a lot of Christianity maybe and that's what I'm gonna have a feel of it but who knows, it might not actually it might be completely turned the opposite way but so far I'm getting like a lot of Christianity religion um, vibe of this book but again, it can totally change <laughs> so yeah, just a quick summary it's basically how there's a city of Albrazia, saints and the displeased Rule with terrifying and then just power playing famous while the unfamous struggle to survive. So, yeah, so far it is interesting as of yet. <laughs> My next book, I am also reading it as well. And, and these two books are supposed to be for my May TV, I believe. I think this one is for my April or something like that. But it's by the Vicious Prince by CJ Red Wine. Again, I am more than 10% of way in. So, from what I can remember, I might have to reread the book again. But, um, it seems to me okay. There's, like, the action is already in your face, kind of thing. Like, so much already has happened. And, like, whoa, where's all this coming from? But, yeah, so far it's interesting. But, um, Princess Charlie's Willow Thorn is the beautiful sword of Salaria, raised to be ruthless and cunning, her only goal is to hold her war to her kingdom to get her long enough to find a path toward peace with the ancient foe Montevallo, even if the cost is her own heart. So far, I don't find her cunning or terrifying, but hopefully that will change soon, so... Yeah... Um, ruthless, not terrifying, but the same thing, but... I don't find her ruthless or cunning yet. But, you shall see. Also, this is another of my, uh, of my, my recent book purchase, A Song of the Six Realms by Judy Ireland. And Zhu, a talented young musician, has no past and probably no future. Often at a young age, she was taken in by her kindly poet uncle who arranged for an apprenticeship at one of the most esteemed entertainment houses in the kingdom. She doesn't remember much from be much from before entering the house of flowing water and when her uncle is suddenly killed in a bandit attack she is devastated to lose her last connection to a life outside of her indenture to a life outside of her indenture contract 
So yeah, I'm really, I'm really excited for this book. So yeah, I'm really excited about this book, and the cover is so pretty. Hey, what's it? Oh, it's blue. Oh, green actually. That is so pretty. Oh, I love it. And my last book is The Tempest of Tea by Hafsa Fazil. Why save the world when you can have tea? Why indeed? <laughs> On the streets of White Mooring, Arthur Casimir is a criminal and mastermind, a collector of secrets. Her prestigious tea room transforms into an illegal bloodhouse by night, catering to the vampires feared by society. But when her establishment is threatened, Arthur is forced to strike an unlikely deal with an alluring adversary to save it, and she can't do the job alone. So, this sounds really cool, and I really love the book cover. It's like so pretty. So, I love anything that has to do with tea magic. And I think this has tea magic. Only some parts of it, because that is why else tea is such a big emphasis. Oh, and that's so cute. Look at it. It's Mrs. Teapot, y'all. Okay, I'm just kidding, but this is really pretty. It's really pretty. Aw, I like the teapot. Okay, so those are all the books for my June TV. I have, as I said before, I have not yet completed my May TV, and that's already over. I'm probably going to return my three library books. I actually have not read them, so I'm probably just going to return them and then you know, you, you pick them up again when I feel ready to read them, because, yeah. I was ambitious before my trip, so <laughs> that did not happen, unfortunately. But, um, also, I'm also getting in the hang of uploading and editing again. I have, I felt lazy when it came back, so, you saw me for the lack of uploads. But, um, I shall get to it. I just need motivation again. So yeah, but otherwise that is it for my June TV art. Let me know what you're reading for June TV art and please like, comment, subscribe so you'll be notified every time I post. And then I'll see you in my next one. Bye!